I'm going to tell you exactly how the ceremony processional should be ordered. About five to ten minutes before the official start time, the wedding party lines up in the order that they're going to walk down the aisle. So if possible, they should be out of the view of the guests, but if not, if it's like an outdoor venue, that's fine. The order of your processional is of course up to you, but there are some traditional etiquette rules that you can draw from, and that's what I'm going to share with you now. Men are on the right side and women are on the left, except in the case of the bride and her father. The father is on the left, the bride is on the right. If your wedding is not at a church, the officiant usually will walk up first and they might come like a, down a side aisle. They don't always walk up the main aisle. And same for the groom who is next and the best man. The best man walks with or slightly behind the groom. Then the groomsmen either process alone or they'll head to the beginning of the aisle to escort bridesmaids. Then once they're in place, the seating of the parents begins. So when I say seating of the parents, that means seating of all the parents, of the grandparents and the parents of the bride and the groom. Tradition says that those closest to the bride, personally, should be closest to her in the lineup. That means that the groom's family walks up first and then the bride's family. We begin with the paternal grandparents of the groom, then the maternal grandparents of the groom. So the groom's side goes first, then we bring in the bride's side. The paternal grandparents of the bride, and then the maternal grandparents of the bride. Then we go with the groom's parents. Some grooms walk with their mom or with their dad or with both. And if that's the case, he's going to process with his parents now. The last parent to process is the mother of the bride and her escort. Her escort can be her son or like her brother, an usher, anyone she's close to. And a lot of times it'll be her husband. And if he's walking up the bride, he'll just walk his wife up circle back around to walk up the bride. Once the mother of the bride has walked down the aisle and she's seated, then the music will change. And now it's time for the wedding party processional. Junior bridesmaids are first, then bridesmaids, and if they're walking with groomsmen, they'll go with them. And then the maid of honor is last. She's the last adult attendant to process. Then we have the ring bearers and the flower girls. So once the flower girl goes through those doors, she's in the aisle, then we're gonna close the doors so the bride can sort of get ready to process. When the child attendants have reached the front, the music changes to the bride's processional song. After just a few measures of the song, the doors open and the father and bride, or both parents, if she's walking with both her parents, walk down the aisle. Sometimes you'll also have a song that's got trumpet fanfare, and so you would let that happen and then open the doors to let them go through. As far as spacing, each couple should wait for the couple before them to get to that halfway point before they go. Also keep in mind, if you're in a church or certain sanctuaries, there is an expectation that you bow, and that's like when you get to that first row, it's a 45 degree bow. Bouquets should be held at the belly button, which feels a little low, but it definitely looks better in pictures. There are variations for processionals for every couple and situation. And if you want specific answers, comment below and we will answer. Thank you for watching and happy wedding planning.